Hey guys, welcome to SMW. I am your host, Weslin, and kicking off today's show, the Big Boss Man defends his YouTube Championship against Ravishing Rick Rude. And the main event of this morning's show is for the Tag Team Championships as Harlem Heat try to reclaim the gold against the Brotherhood. But first off, there he is, our YouTube champion, Big Boss Man, defending against Rick Rude, and it looks like Rick Rude has aligned himself with Bobby Heaton as his manager come down to the ring with him trying to turn his fortunes around thinks Bobby Heaton can help him out with that but early doors big boss man couple of rights and a left straight to his noggin the big boss man taking him into the corner but Rick Rude now fighting out elbow in his way out of that taking boss man against the ropes goes under and a big knee to Bossman's midsection, but Bossman does not go down. It looked like that might took something out of Rick Rude as Bossman wrestles him to the mat. Nice kick there from Bossman to Rick Rude's chest. Bossman in control, early doors, elbow to the back of the head. Now, can the Bossman defend the championship? The last five weeks, we've had five different champions for this title. Bossman, the first and only two-time YouTube champion, trying to defend against Rick Rude. And so far, doing a very good job of that. Keeping Rick Rude on the mat, staying on top of him. And look at it. Bossman, just in full control. Nice swinging net breaker by the Bossman. Bobby Heenan just watching on carefully as his man is literally getting pounded on. Just the one count though. Rick Rude kicking out. Bobby Heenan still all didn't like that. Need to see something more from Rick Rude. And as Bossman taking Rude up for the power bomb. Look at this. Look at the strength for the Bossman. Runs him over. Buckle bomb in the corner. Bossman in total control. Look at this massive right hand. Might have knocked that man out, but just carrying on. Boss man staying on top of Rick Rude. Still just a one count though. Rick Rude managing to kick out after the one. Nice boot to the back by Boss man again. Boss man picking him up off the floor. Elbow to the back of the head. Rick Rude fighting out. A nice elbow from Rick Rude and then slamming Boss man's head into the canvas. Bobby Heenan chucking a chair into the ring that is not going to help Rick Rude here you do not want to get disqualified you cannot win the championship that way but maybe Bobby Heenan just trying to distract things as Rick Rude gets a one count over boss man Rick Rude stomping away at boss man just punishing his lower back Rick Rude taking way too long there kick to the midsection club to the back Another kick to the chest of Bossman. And a second. Now, the referee finally getting rid of that chair out of the ring. There's Rick Rude getting up. Picking the Bossman up. Nice punch to the lower abdomen. Elbow to the face. And another knee to the face. Taking Bossman off his feet. And now Rude goes for the cover. Just the one count. Just the one count. Bossman had the early parts of this match under his belt, but then Rick Rude came back into it. Can the Bossman get a foothold in this match again? As he picks Rude up, takes him down for a spine buster. And Bobby Heenan, Bobby Heenan getting the referee's attention as Bossman has a Boston Crab on and the referee just running into the ropes. He don't know what he's doing, running around finally gets to see Rick Rude, but Rick Rude getting out of that submission hold and now hits the inverted backbreaker Bobby Heenan has been trying to help Rick Rude he has been trying to distract the referee where he can not very good tactics but doing what he can for his associate and now distracting boss man look at this Rick Rude taking full advantage it's the reverse DDT picks Bossman back up taking Bossman up for a pile driver hits the pile driver and now Rick Rude going up top 
going high risk. What's he going to do off the top rope? Big elbow drop off the top and goes for the cover. Could we have a new YouTube champion? And Bossman kicks out at two. Just the two count for Rick Rude. Now nah, Rick Rude maybe looking for the Rude Awakening. And he's got him in a headlock. He's turned him round. There it is. The Rude Awakening has been hit. And surely we're going to have a new YouTube champion as the referee is slow to count. But we do, guys. Ravishing Rick Rude is your new YouTube champion. And you've got to say, a lot of that has to go down to Bobby Heenan distracting the big boss man. Letting Rick Rude take the advantage and eventually getting the three count. Here we go guys, Ted DiBiossi, Bam Bam Bigelow, Ted DiBiossi beating the current Intercontinental Champion last week. You would have thought that about him a title shot, but Ted DiBiossi does not want the Intercontinental Championship again. He wants to go for the world title. And he's going up against Bam Bam Bigelow, trying to state his claim. But Bam Bam Bigelow with a good win last week as well over Psycho Sid in that no DQ match. And DiBiossi taking it to Bam Bam early on. Picking Bam Bam off too, but Bam Bam taking his legs from underneath him. Bam Bam stamping on the back of Ted DiBiossi's head. What's he going to do here? Picks DiBiossi up, slamming him on the mat. And then just a big boot to the face. Bam Bam just rubbing his face into the mat. Oh, a nice, nice elbow drop to the upper back of DBOC. Now Bam Bam really needs to take the momentum he's got recently and continue it if he has any shot at gaining any traction in here in Sunday morning wrestling. Picks DiBiossi up. Really working on the head and upper back of DiBiossi at the moment. He's obviously got something in mind. Now gets him in a headlock. Slowing it down even more than he was before. Not sure this is the right thing to do against DiBiossi, but we'll see. He's obviously got a game plan and he's sticking to it. Is Bam Bam Bigelow. So his game plan worked last week, so why wouldn't it work this week? Ted DiBiossi gets out of it and look at him. DiBiossi looking confident as ever. Clotheslines Bam Bam Bigelow over the top rope and follows him to the outside. Probably not where you want to take Bam Bam after you've seen last week's match. Bam Bam very good with weapons and using the ring apron to his advantage. The ring post, he nearly knocks Psycho Sid out last week. Look at these, some big clubbing blows from DiBiossi and Bam Bam Bigelow is just dazed. Dazed and confused. Another big right hand from DiBiossi. Look at this, they're going down the ramp and finally as the referee hits the six count, DiBiossi makes his way back into the ring. DiBiossi though not playing around. He's got a sleep hold in, it looks like, and he hits the Russian leg sweep. Not ready to finish this one yet. And goes for a headlock of his own. Anything you can do, I can do better. DiBiossi taking it to Bam Bam. Where the bigger man down. Bam Bam fighting out though. Bam Bam getting up. One elbow, two elbows. Gets Ted DiBiossi off of him. And what's this? Double underhook backbreaker. Bam Bam Bigelow loves a modified backbreaker. Look at this, look at it. Just deadlifting DiBiossi up. Gut wrench, power slam. Now goes for the cover. Just the one count. You're not getting Ted DiBiossi out that quick. Gets DiBiossi in another headlock. DiBiossi struggling. He needs to get out of this or he will start fading. And Bam Bam decides to let him go. That is a strange choice by Bam Bam Bigelow. Should have kept that in. It looked like DiBiossi was passing out, but obviously Bam Bam does not want to win that way. Misses the clothesline. Well, kind of hit the clothesline. 
and Bam Bam goes for the cover. Just the one count again. DiBiossi not giving up that quickly. Oh, went for the punch to the head, but DiBiossi with an elbow to the midsection of Bam Bam Bigelow takes Bigelow to the corner. Oh, we've seen this, guys. Power slam and falling elbow from that middle rope. Look at that manoeuvre, and he goes for the cover. Can Bam Bam kick out? And he does. Bam Bam kicking out just after the two count. Ted DiBiossi so close to racking up another victory. But now, what's he looking for? Maybe he's looking for that million dollar dream. And he is, he's got the million dollar dream hooked in. No one has escaped this in SMW and neither has Bam Bam. And look at this, Ted DiBiossi holding it in for longer than he should. DiBiossi wants that championship. He said he's going to go through every competitor he comes up against and he's going to keep feeding them cash. Look at this, the disrespect. He wants a shot at that title. DiBiossi. Couple of good victories for the belt over the Intercontinental Champion as well. Next up, guys, Wendy Richer against Alondra Blaze. Wendy Richer getting the win last week over the current SMW Women's Champion, Mad Maxine. But Mad Maxine setting the novel hurdle for her before she gets a shot at the championship as Alondra Blaze just throws her over with that headlock suplex. Now Wendy Richer escaping out of the ring and Alondra Blaze taking too long, taunting Wendy Richer too quick for her. Stomping on her head. Oh, Blaze takes a knee to the face. Vicious move by Wendy Richer as Blaze takes her over with an arm drag. Alondra Blaze picking her up, taking her up for a suplex. Lovely suplex by Alondra Blaze. Look at that athleticism. Backflip moonsault. Blaze in control at the moment. Nice Hurricane Rana. Blaze picking Richard back up. Now stretching out the chest of Wendy Richer. Really stretching her. Wendy Richer looks in a lot of pain. That's got to hurt. Look at, oh, just pulling back on them arms. And Blaze lets her go in the end. A nice elbow to the face. She's up against the ropes. Takes her against the ropes. Big backdrop. Blaze in full control. Goes for the cover. Just the one count, though. Just the one count for Alondra Blades there. If she pulls Wendy Richer across the ring. Nice whiplash net breaker. Now rolling her over. Look at this submission. Got that knee lock in on Wendy Richard. Will Wendy Richard tap? Oh, look at that boot to the face. Getting Blaze off of her. Nice kick to the chest. Smashing her head against the canvas. Now, working on that leg again. Picking Blaze up. Takes Blaze to the corner. Hits the running clothesline in the corner. Wendy Richard goes for the cover. Is it enough? No, it's not. Not even a one count. Big punch to what looked like the ear there. That can disorientate you. As she picks Blaze up. She's going up for a power bomb. And she hits the power bomb. And now she's picking her back up. Alondra Blaze with the jawbreaker. Fighting out. Giving it all she's got. Look at this German suplex with the pin. Oh, so close. I thought Alondra Blaze had done it then. I thought she'd beat her. What a manoeuvre that was. Oh, kick to the gut from Alondra Blaze. A bit of aggression being shown. Richard getting up though. Nice arm bar. Now clubbing to the back. Working on the leg again. Trying to take out that vertical blaze base of Alondra Blaze. Kick to the chest now. Setting her up what? Has Wendy got in mind? 
taken her up for this helicopter spin. We've seen this last week. This is what beat Mad Maxine. Will it put Alondra Blaze away for the victory? We've seen it. She goes one way, goes the other. Blades of Fury. And she drops her on the floor. Can she make the cover? And she does make the cover. Is this it? Has she picked up another win? And she has Wendy Richer. Two wins on the bounce against two very, very good opponents. I think she deserves a title shot. Don't forget, guys, it, guys, if you watch this so far, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It does help us out a lot. Next up, guys, bit of a underdog battle here for Doink the Clown. I think Macho Man might have picked this opponent himself, but here he comes, the champion. Some say that Macho Man once won a game of Connect 4 in just three moves. Don't know about you, but I'm not sure I believe that. Macho Man with a backbreaker straight off the bat. Misses the boot to the back though. Doink the Clown taking him up for a back suplex. Macho Man again with his new sidekick, British Bulldog. He beat Bulldog and then Bulldog kind of aligned with him. Just wanted to be part of the championship action, even if he can't have it and doesn't want to face Macho Man again. But look at this, Doink taking control of the champion early doors. This would be a massive upset if Doink the Clown picks up the victory here. And Doink the Clown slapping his hand away, hits the running bulldog. Doink the Clown, former YouTube champion. Picking Macho Man up, got that claw into the shoulder of Macho Man. But Macho Man taking his leg out from under him. Macho Man not going to be happy. The fact that Doink has got any offense off here. He thought this would be a stroll in the park as he picks Doink up. Big power slam. I think Bulldog might have just thrown a steel chair into the ring. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe he's frustrated by what he's seen so far as well. But Doink getting out of it. Nice uppercut by Doink. Macho Man picking him up again for a power slam. Bulldog just having a word with the referee we've seen there. Not sure what was going on there. Taking Doink to the corner now. Smashing his head against that ring post. It's just steel cable behind there. That has got to hurt. Now, Macho Man going up top. Macho Man still trying to finish this one quick. He thought it was probably going to be easier than this. Getting Doink up. Hits the double axe handle off the top rope. Goes for the cover. Doink kicks out. Doink kicks out after the two. Impressive stuff by Doink the Clown. Macho Man picking him back up. Nice backbreaker setting him up maybe for... The elbow drop from the top rope. And he's up. Points to the skies. And drops the elbow. Surely he's got the victory now. Somehow Doink's managed to kick out yet again. Look at this elbow from Macho Man. How has Doink got out of that? The Macho Man now going to the middle. Calling for Doink to get up. Shouting it in to get up. I don't know how Doink's still standing after the punchman is took. Another double axe handle. Now Macho Man goes for the pin. Surely. And Doink doesn't kick out of that. That is all she wrote in that one. Macho Man. Harder than he thought it was going to be. But he does pick up the victory. He's going to have to do better than that. If he wants to remain champion. Bulldog applauding him. Macho Man thinking he's got a big victory there, but let's face it, it was Doink the Clown. And here it is, guys, the main event of the morning. Tag Team Action World Championships on the line. Harlem Heat making their way to the ring, and as they're making their way to the ring... Look at this, the attack from behind with the belts from the Brotherhood. Attacking Harlem Heat from behind. 
and holding the belts up high. Now drop the belts. Mark Jones running into the ring. Bobby Baker sending Booker T in. And now they're both in the ring. Mark Jones looking for the Mark II powerbomb. This one could be over before it even started. And he hits it. He does hit the powerbomb. Taking his time though. Making the cover. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Well, I think that's a very unfair bout for Harlem Heat. Brotherhood definitely cheating their way to that one. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the episode. And if you aren't already, please make sure you subscribe. I've been your host, Wes Lynn, And we'll see you right here, same time, same place, next week on Sunday Morning Wrestling.